Players are heading down to Florida and Arizona for spring training, but Major League Baseball management has been working over the Arizona legislature to make sure that minor league players don't get a minimum wage and Major League Baseball is shielded from any lawsuits in the state for violating labor laws. Minor league players don't get paid for working during spring training. MLB has found an ally in Representative T.J. Shop in this HB 2180 proposal. Shop wants to make sure Major League Baseball owners don't have to shell out money for players because Representative Shop is of the belief that minor league players are there for tryouts. Major League Baseball owners seem to regard minor league players as nobodies who should be grateful that they have seasonal worker jobs. But these nobodies do play in February and March before people who pay good money for what is little more than a practice game in stadiums that are heavily subsidized by taxpayers' money. MLB got a big political boost from Congress last year in an effort to suppress minor league players' salaries. There was a change to the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938. Baseball barons can pay players as little as $1,100 a month for four 40-hour or more monthly work weeks per the Save America's Pastime Act. Minor league players no longer have minimum wage or overtime protections and have no judicial recourse to reverse the decision. Major League Baseball owners spent a boatload of money to persuade members of Congress to accept their line of thinking which is to make sure they pay minor league baseball players as little as possible. Keeping minor league players' salaries low was a main concern of Commissioner Rob Manfred and the 30 owners. Major League Baseball is stuffed with money, but it seems the owners don't want to share it. I'm Evan Weiner for the Politics of Sports Business.